From Adoption to Impact, a hospital's journey with the Quantra system. My name is Karen Clark. I am the point of care supervisor at Baptist Memorial Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee. Implementing new technology can be long and difficult. What was your experience? I have to really, truly say that implementing the Quantro has been one of the easier instruments that I have implemented. Just the organization from the protocols and the materials that uh, Hemasonic supplies really helps you to get organized. What was your experience like preparing for the Tennessee State Board Review? And how did Hemasonics help make that process smoother for you? You know, when you go before the board there in Nashville, it has pathologists on it, it has administrators, it has other uh, medical technologists. So, you know, it's your peers. And so you're not going to get anything past them. So you want to make sure that what you're presenting is number one, truthful, but, you know, that it's that you've do your, done your due diligence and you really have to before you go to the board because they will ask you questions. So um, you really want to be prepared. You want to make sure you have all your I's dotted and your T's crossed. So I just really appreciate, you know, the support team at Hemasonics, the reports that they help produce, pictures of everything, the Quantra, how things correlated, uh, just beautiful. I was so proud of the validation when it was all put together to send that into the state because it was very impressive. I feel like that we've opened the door for everybody in the state of Tennessee to use it. And so I really, I love being on the cutting edge. I like having something that is just really uh, the best and it's awesome and it really makes a difference. How was training for staff, especially in those crucial first months after implementation? The training uh, staff that came from Hemasonics, they were just truly incredible. They really were very open and very uh, easy for the operators to come and to be trained. The training staff from Hemasonics has come back during like our first six months period, and they were really helpful as far as uh, helping us kind of uh, wrangle <laughs> people to come by and get the controls run. So that's worked well for us. It's really been uh, not a problem to keep people certified. And and they're just so excited about the product that, you know, they're really very willing uh, to do that part. It's interesting to hear about differences in how clinicians adopt new tools. Can you share more about how the Quantra influenced blood product use? We have actually uh, done a comparison of a previous year, last year, to this year with the Quantra between two surgeons. We had an early adopter that when he would have a case, he would ask, okay, what is my Quantra telling me? And so he is someone that does not use a lot of blood products and he has fully embraced it. The other surgeon was a late adopter. He would use a lot of products. He had a standing order of blood products that the patient would get when they went to the floor or even during surgery, whether they really needed it or not. And so with this, and he has fully adopted it now, what we see is not only a savings in blood products, but also a uh, savings in money as well. You know, it is really great to give patients blood products when they need it, but it's also just as important not to give blood products that they don't need. From a clinical and operational standpoint, how has this impacted your OR and beyond? Oh, I really feel like the Quantra system has really put us on the cutting edge for better clinical outcomes as well as operational efficiency. It really guides them in the OR and they're not having to guess. Um, it's great to give patients what they need. And so the Quantra really gives us that assurance of what blood products to give. It's also wonderful that they can use the Quantra while they're still on pump. It sounds like you have a great partnership with Hemasonics. I want to say that I have never worked with a company that supports and stands behind their product like Hemasonics. And I truly mean that. It really feels like we're doing something so wonderful for our patients. And, you know, I just don't have a bad thing to say about Hemasonics because they truly support their product.